Mark Zuckerberg, Amazon's Jeff Bezos, Alphabet's Sundar Pichai, and Apple's Tim Cook are all taking part, facing questions from the House Judiciary Committee on whether their firms have become too dominant. Uh, simply put, they have too much power, according to committee chair David Cicilline. He said that in his opening remarks. And together, the companies represent five trillion dollars of the yeah. u.s economy that's incredible it's the first time bezos the world's richest person had to appear before u.s congress and keep in mind he's the world's richest person amazon uh one of the biggest companies and they pay bare bones taxes because of a small loophole and this is the thing americans they they really don't pay a lot of attention to to the inner workings and the dynamics and the structure of how things work they just kind of you know go about their business everybody's trying to feed their family and do their thing but mm -hmm. if you really look at what's critical in your life you know google and social media especially in times of a pandemic this is right. how you get information this Keep is how you communicate with, with people this is how you get things uh so again Tech giants really are dominating the world, not just America. Uh, in England, uh, they have put some, some serious restrictions on them, uh, and they're scared that's going to happen in this country. Uh, they finally caught on here, lawmakers, and a lot of it is because of COVID-19 and also because of the election. Uh, these tech giants are being accused of uh, being against the Republican Party. So as you can imagine, the Republicans uh, are, are, are clearly uh, trying to break up these companies, have some control. Uh, when there's misinformation, you know, Twitter can easily take something down. Uh, Google can, you know, put something further down in the search engine. Meanwhile, the average American, they're just trying to do their job, get information, not realizing that your information, you are the product mm -hmm. in many cases, especially for social media. Your information, your data, when you're posting to your friends and you're showing that, hey, I love this, you know, restaurant and this... All of this data is compiled and kept by restaurants. And of course, the African-American community, we're often uh, pigeonholed into certain areas. Uh, so when you're searching on Google, and for instance, you're looking up racism or whatever, certain articles will come up, they control those things. Mm -hmm. uh, so I could go on and on, Anthony, but I mean, you obviously understand the, the problems of your security, your privacy, your data being used to make money. Well, Congress, by the way, uh, did its homework going into this hearing. It's been investigating uh, these gentlemen's companies for over a year and uh, has pulled more than a million documents just for this hearing. Unbelievable. Well, still to come, President Trump goes on another rant, questioning the nation's top COVID experts while praising a controversial doctor known for spreading conspiracy theories. Stay with us. Much more ahead on BNC Now.